Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da habata fillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, O you who believe, fear Allah as he should be feared. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, so keep your duty to Allah and fear him as much as you can. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, O you who believe, keep your duty to Allah and fear him and speak always the truth. And Allah Azza wa Jal subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem and whosoever fears Allah and keeps his duty to him, he will make a way for him to get out from every difficulty. And he will provide him from sources he could never imagine. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem and if you obey and fear Allah, he will grant you farqan or a makhraj. And he will expiate for you your sins and forgive you. And Allah is the owner of the great bounty. All of these ayat in the book of Allah, they show us the importance of taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That it's imperative that you and I fear Allah tabarak wa ta'ala as much as possible. That you and I strive our honest utmost and to the extent of our ability to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we have to know what we mean by taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as we mentioned prior to this, that taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the bad salaf, some of the salaf, salaf salih, ridwan Allahi alayhim, they referred to taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as uh, to adhere to the commands of, commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fear or avoid his prohibitions. So if you want to know taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that way you can practice taqwa Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, that means you have to adhere to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands. It's really simple in the sense of, uh, uh, you know, it's not a scientific experiment. It's not a, a hypothesis that we've got to strive to, 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 to de deduce and that we've got to make an experiment about. But rather, it's very clear. All those ayat we just mentioned, and there's so many that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands you, and fear Allah, verily Allah is all aware of what you are doing. O you who believe, fear Allah and speak uh, the truth. Speak a truthful word. All of those ayat, they show us that it's a commandment for us to be from Ahl Iman. It's a commandment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have taqwa. So Allah is commanding us to be obedient to Him, Tabarak wa Ta'ala. He's commanding us to have this, attrib this attribute of taqwa and this practice of taqwa, which is actually being obey obedience to His command, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, and avoiding His prohibitions. So with that, Habitifillah, we know that we can have our success, but I know it's, it's difficult for us to keep that in our mind because we're so distracted by the dunya, and you can't help it. The dunya is, 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 is distracting. I could talk about it now, but maybe on the way home, I'm, you know, there's going to be distractions. I'm going to hear something. I'm going to, uh, you know, see something. I'm going to whatever to distract me from that divine purpose. But the point is, is the believer needs to keep reminding one another about this practice and hopes that it will shift us a little bit towards taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there are so many beautiful benefits, as we mentioned, about taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's going to earn us the protection and support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's going to be a source of our rizq, and all of us need rizq. I know I could use a, a righteous kick, you know, increasing our wealth. And that's, that's one of the ways, is the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear of Allah wa ta'ala, He's going to open up a way uh, from you, from ways you, you couldn't imagine. Fear Allah with how you treat the creation. Are you being just? Are you just with your wives? Are you just with your husband? Are you just with your, your friends and your families? Are you just with even your enemies? Are you just with your co-workers? Wherever. Are you being just to people? Because that's part of taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a part of fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that's a commandment from Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. So ahabat al if you want to avoid the nar, you want your rizq to be accepted, you want your supplications to be accepted, you want all of the khair fi dunya wal akhira rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab an nar and you want the protection from the nar then it comes through taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by all of his divine names and attributes to bless us to be of the muttaqin 
وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم